guys, so today I'm here to bring you my pre-season thoughts for summer of 2013. I realised that the season started about three days ago, probably four or five by the time this video comes out. So I'm sorry that this is late, but better late than never, right? I've got a few shows that I want to watch this season, so I thought it would be worthwhile just talking about them. I haven't watched any of them yet just for the purpose of the fact that I don't want to give my first impressions in this video, so I'm dying to watch some of these. First up on my list is Free from Kyoto Animation. I am super excited about this show. This is a show from Kyoto Animation and I tend to kind of love what they do. I don't know why, because it never has much of a plot but I don't care because I love it. So this is a sports anime with mainly men as characters which is actually kind of surprising because Kyoto Animation seem to do a lot of shows based around you know teenage girls instead of going for the teenage boys this time which is fine by me I guess. That sounded creepy. Okay. Wow. Never coming back from that one. So Free revolves around a boy named Harukun Nanase, a boy who has always loved to be immersed in water and to swim in it. Before graduating from elementary school, he participated in a swimming tournament along with his fellow swimming club members. That changed from the last time I read it, I'm sure, but I'm excited about this one. I'm just excited because it's Kyoto Animation and Kyoto Animation are awesome. I don't care that they milk some of their stuff just for money, because I still enjoy it, I don't care. So next up on my list is Monogatari series second season. This is by Shaft and it's pretty much no secret that I don't tend to enjoy the Monogatari series as much as I used to. Um, I really enjoyed Baki Monogatari, I hated Nisa Monogatari and I thought Neko Monogatari Kuro was okay. I'm sort of looking forward to this, not hugely, gotta be honest. I have looked forward to other things more than this, but this is something that I actually want to see through to the end. I want to see how it concludes, I want to, I just want to say, finished it and I'm really happy with it because it wasn't. I've heard Nisa Monogatari is the worst. People always tell me that. I've still got the video up where I was like, I don't think it's that good. People tell me all the time that it was the worst book out of the lot. It still really, for me, doesn't excuse it being as bad as it was, for me, personally, but... I'm giving it another shot, guys. It's okay. I will give a final impression, probably not a first impression of this series, um, when it's finished, just because... I hope that I'll be really positive about it, but we'll see. Next up on my list is something that I am really, really, really pumped about. I'm so, so excited about this, and I don't know if it's out yet, but I'm dying to watch it, so I'm going to be so excited as soon as I stop recording, I'm going to be like, right, go and find it. Genshiken, Genshiken Nadaime, I think is how you say it, from Production IG. This is the adaptation of the second season of the manga, um, they already adapted the first season, I guess, and it was awesome, and I've really wanted more Genshikin anime for a long, 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 long time. I pretty much loved the first two seasons of this show. It's very much an anime for otaku, if that makes sense, because it has a lot of references in it, and it's a lot of stuff that you probably wouldn't get if you weren't a fan of anime in the first place, and it centres around, basically, I think it's an anime club or a manga club, I can't remember which one, it's been a very long time since I've watched this show. And it's just a slice of life about what they get up to and they go to like comic and places like that. It's a fantastic show. It's gonna make me feel so nostalgic because I watched it a very long time ago, like I said, and I always like drew comparisons from the characters in the show and the members of my anime club at university, which was like a huge, huge part of my life at the time. <sighs> I love this show, I'm so excited. I hope someone else is excited too. Oh, I really are. Oh, I'm so excited. Another one that I'm super excited about as well is the third season of The World God Only Knows. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited for this one. I really went back into my uh, West Country accent there for a second then. Wow. I'm pretty positive that most people who care about this show will have seen some of it by now. Um, I think it's a great great show. I don't know whether you'll have to go and watch the first two seasons to enjoy this season, but I definitely recommend you do that anyway because it's just a fantastic show. If you don't know what it's about, it's basically about a boy named Kama who plays on a lot of dating sims and visual novels and he can conquer any woman. That's He is the, he is the god of conquest. He gets a challenge 
and he thinks it's going to be a really hard game that he has to, you know, complete. And it turns out that he's actually been tricked into seducing real life women to fill the gaps in their hearts to expel bad spirits. And it's really good. I could not describe the show in any measure that would make it sound as amazing as it is. It's so funny, so well done. I just love it. Uh, go watch the first two seasons. If, if you're in, like, any country that sells anime, they probably have it out by now, so go do that. It's gonna be great. So excited. Ha! Ah. Next up on my list is Blood Lad. Some of you who have been here for a while might remember me saying this last year. And the last show that I want to talk about is actually called Blood Lad, and it's something that I have been really excited for. I think it's been, like, six months since I saw that it was coming out, and I read the synopsis, and I was like, this sounds cool. This sounds really cool. But the thing is... Studio, director, writer, music, and voice actors are all to be announced. And it's a year later and it's finally coming out. Blood Lad follows Staz, a vampire that is obsessed with the human world, and for Yumi, a human girl that was killed and turned into a ghost after wandering into the demon world. Staz promises to help for Yumi regain her humanity by bringing her back to life, and this is a comedy supernatural seinen show. I'm so happy that Brains Base are doing it. They've disappointed me with a couple of shows lately, but I still have so much faith in Brains Base that they can do something really good with this. So I've been waiting about two years, a year and a half or something like that for this show. So I'm happy that it's finally happening at least, so if it's bad I can at least get it out of my system and be like, okay, that's all for now. And last on my definitely, definitely watch list is actually Silver Spoon. The reason is, well number one, it's an Oitinema show. Noitinema shows are kind of notoriously good, I guess. Number two, it's by the same mangaka who wrote Full Metal Alchemist, and Full Metal Alchemist was fantastic. And number three, I have read this manga before, I read it about a year ago, and it's amazing. It might not have been quite a year ago, but it's so good. I'll just read the description to you, I guess. Yugo Hachiken dreams of life separated away from his family. So he takes the initiative by enrolling in an agricultural school. Raised as a city boy, he is forced to uncover the, tr the inconvenient truth about an agricultural life. Oh, this is so appealing to me. It's a comedy shonen slice of life about basically a farm school. As someone who's worked in like horticulture and agriculture and stuff before, very appealing to me in that way. And I keep chickens now and some of the stuff to do with chickens in some of the early like chapters of the manga just makes me laugh so hard so funny but yeah this is going to be a great show if a1 pictures do a good job with it i'm really really hoping they do i'm so looking forward to this show it's going to be fantastic if they do it right i think it might be one of the best things of the season but i think i've got like a pretty pretty good selection of things that i'm watching so i think it's going to be probably the best of the season that isn't a sequel to something maybe so i have a maybe list as well so let's do those really quickly the first on that list is kimi no irumachi which is by Gonzo, and the reason that this is on the maybe list and not on the definitely watch list is because I've heard from a lot of the fans that they're adapting a kind of shit arc. I watched the OVA to this and I didn't hate it actually, I thought it was quite alright. So maybe I'll watch this but I am going to wait for more people to say yeah it's worth a watch before I like definitely jump into it, so that's that's my thoughts on that. Um, I'm not going to give synopsis of the ones that I'm probably not going to watch. So. Next on that list is Makai Oji, Devils and Realist. This is by Doga Kobo, who made uh, Natsuyuki Rendezvous, I think. I, I don't know if this is going to be any good, but it's a comedy demons fantasy shoujo supernatural, so I'm having, I've got this feeling that it's just going to fail so badly, but there is a guy that looks like an elf in the picture, so I don't know if you guys know but I kinda like elves. So there's that. There's also Tamayora More Aggressive, which is the sequel to Tamayora Hitotose, which I watched a couple of years ago. I still haven't finished it yet because it's a very, very slow show. So if I end up watching the rest of, you know, Tamayora Hitotose at some point and I go, wow, I really wanna watch more of this show, then I'll probably watch Tamayora More Aggressive, but it's not gonna be like a thing that I watch straight away or anything like that by any measure. And the last one is Brothers Conflict, which is by Brains Base. And it's a romance shoujo harem. I think this is a harem between eleven brothers and the one sister. And I think they're all like step siblings. I don't know how appealing that is to me, but the only reason that I'm thinking about maybe watching it is because Brains Base are again there. So this is gonna be another thing that I just listen for people talking about and then I'll see if I wanna watch it, I guess. 
we'll see. Let's move on to OVAs because there are a ton of OVAs this season that I'm really excited about. And we're going to start at the top with the Oriima specials. Uh, I really like Ori no Emoto. I think it's great. So any more of that, I will take. I'll gladly take it. Next is Ah Megami Sama or Ah oh My Goddess. <laughs> I actually started watching this OVA in 2011 and it was the 2011 OVA and then for some reason they just decided that they really wanted to make another episode of this 2011 OVA in 2013 so that's the thing that's what I'm I'm gonna be watching that now just just to finish it more than anything I don't think it was a very good OVA from what I remember I haven't loved Oh My Goddess in the same way that I loved the like early 90s or late 80s series the first OVA that was very very good I would definitely recommend that over some of the more modern stuff that they've done I think they've just killed it a little bit because there is a lot of oh my goddess stuff. Next is Mirai Nikki Redial. I liked Mirai Nikki. I'm probably gonna like this. I don't know exactly what it is. I tend to not read a bunch about what OVAs are because then I'm just surprised. So I'm just telling you what I'm gonna watch and I'm not gonna explain it very much. Uh, wow, I can't read my own handwriting. Uh, next is Tamako Market. A Choco Choi Chan, I think, is how I've written that down. I liked Tamako Market a lot. Another episode of that wouldn't go amiss, and I really like Choi Chan, so if it's anything to do with her... Great, I hope I got the characters right, that would suck. I'm pretty sure I got the characters right. Otherwise I'm gonna be sorely disappointed in this OVA. Next is the OVA to Tonari no Kaibutsukun, and I gave my thoughts on that a couple months ago, it's a fantastic show, really looking forward to more of it. Next is Kami no Mizoshiru Sekai, Magical Star Canon, 100%. So that's the world God only knows OVA. Don't know why they're doing another OVA to do with Canon, but whatever. I'll watch it. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Uh, ooh, wrote this in a silly pen. Yoamushi Pedal OVA. <laughs> that, let me find it, because I don't know if that sounds right. Yo, I'm actually pedal OVA. Okay, this is the OVA to a series that I think is coming out in the next couple of seasons. I can't be too sure, but I figure I'm gonna watch the OVA, and if I really like the OVA, then I'll watch the series. If I don't like the OVA, then I won't bother. Logic. There is a Kamisama Hajime Mashite OVA. Again, I gave my thoughts on that a couple of months ago. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was quite good. And the last one on the list is the Sukite Inayo uh, OVA special episode, whatever. Again, gave my thoughts on that show a couple of months ago. Really liked it. Anyway, that's everything on my list this season. Um, turned out to be a bit bigger just because of the OVAs and stuff. I'm not going to be watching that many series. I'm trying to take it easy because I have plans and stuff in the works and I don't want to overload myself with trying to watch too much anime and I still have loads to finish from last season. So, um, that's going to be it for now. So thank you for watching. If you want to let me know what you're looking forward to this season, I would be very, very interested to know that, so comment down below if you want to know what is coming out this season. You can go to anachart.net and there's a list there, so that's the best way. Otherwise, thank you for watching, hope you're having a great day, and I will see you guys soon.